Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Persona 4. I am here for the final time with Nathan. Hey. And straight up, we are channeling a um, half Asian male that we both know. Um, meaning that we're gonna make origami. Which we may or may not have picked up. Right. Anyway. <laughs> Envelopes, origami, same thing. Yeah. Let's start with the vowel. Pretty sure it's diligence. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Luck as usual. You don't want to speed up, you might make a mistake. Exactly. That's why we've got double the price that we normally get, or double the cash that we usually get. Today we are finishing another social link. Well, I hope, because it'd be kind of embarrassing if I didn't. Alright, we're going to head into town after this phone call, which I assume we're getting from the one and only Hello? Yukiko. Yep. Yukiko. Can I meet you today if you have some free time? Sure, let's go. Yes. Off the carpet there, just random tears. It's only random tears because of the texture quality on the emulator isn't great. Your room. You invited her here. Oh, exciting locations. So this is your room. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to look around, it's just that this is the first time I've been in a boy's room. Really exciting experience. Where's my pawn? Did I hide it? Oh, you sleep on a futon, I see. I use a futon too. I'm oh, sorry, I, I don't know what to talk about. Whoa, whoa. Where's this going? Huh? <laughs> I'm fine with anything. You don't need to worry about me. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still studying cooking and job licenses. I don't plan to leave anymore, but I thought I may as well. I'm glad I realized sooner. If I'd stuck out on my own, I know I would have regretted it. I wanted to become completely self-sufficient, but I think I was being presumptuous. I have the inn, I have my family, I have the waitresses and the chefs. I am who I am now because I was raised by such a kind group. When I think of it that way, my problems aren't just my own. That's why I'm gonna stay here. But by my own will. Yuko's strong will that allowed her to accept and overcome her weakness has awakened her heart's true power. Her persona has been reborn. Matarasu? Yeah, let's just go with Matarasu. This is my new power, the power you've shown me, <laughs> the power I will treasure. I want you to have this. It's nerds. <laughs> it's a charm from the shrine to protect you. It's pretty charming, I'll bet. I'm staying here. The charm will protect you in my place, then we'll always be together. The voice is trembling. You can. I love you. You can feel the strong bond, and there is the max social link for the priestess. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon the ability to create Skathatch, the ultimate form of the priestess arcana. The Yukiko Amagi Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Yukiko Amagi Social Link. Your power to create personas of the Priestess Arcana has reached its maximum. I have forged a bond that cannot be broken. Um. Sheesh, don't stare at me so much. That not awkward cuddle. It's 
grabbing up butt, wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Can I say it again? You can. I love you. Exciting. It's gotten dark, so you walk up to my house. Jeez, how did we pass the time? Oh, welcome home, big. Well, considering I was again meant to um, kind of be making origami today, I think I'll just read. Yeah, which book do I want to read? I don't know. Manuals for what? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure to be honest. Just manuals. Read the Ocha way. Thoroughly. See what it is. Knowledge has increased, your expression has increased. Uh, at least knowledge increases, I suppose. Oh man, in a hurry. Always in a hurry, because I gotta go fast. <laughs> Gotta step it up. You over here students talking. You know, I don't really see the police in town anymore. I've seen on the news that there are still loose ends to the case, but the police are ready to end everything. The what? You mean the murders? Why do you still think about stuff that far back? Ignore that. The school trip starts on Thursday. Okay, skip all this text because it's boring. It was such a philosophical, deep conversation. Looks like we're having quite an eventful year. It's so weird. After the murder incidents, an idol comes to town, and then a detective shows up, and this used to be carefree and drama. Are you sure that guy's a teacher? Yeah, he's weird. Which one of the following isn't a kick? I may have forgotten to write this down. One sec. Alright. It's the sardine. Sardine is Kigo for Autumn. Okay, I don't know what Kigo is, but I'll just say, yeah! Knowledge is increased. That's bound to reach its max level very shortly. Alright, have the yeah, incidents been dealt with? Maybe, maybe not. But the important thing is that we go to the roof. Why are we going to the roof? Well... I talked to the Sunday girl. Oh, you, I was, uh, uh, what are you doing? I, no one asked you to come. Well, I'm busy, so what's in your mind? You need help speaking? Where'd you hear that? Oh, it's not like I'm worried about it. Leave me alone. She's quite worried about her speech and defensive about it as well. Your current expression, you can speak well enough to teach others. You will start with, uh, wax on, wax off. Good old Mr. Miyagi. Wasn't it wipe on, wipe off? I always thought it was wax on. Okay. Conversation lessons. I don't need them, leave me alone. But if you really want to teach someone, then maybe I'll listen to you for a while, just to be nice. You gave us some tips, and uh, you should have told me this earlier. Oh, well, uh, that's not right. It would have been most desirable if you would have <laughs> imparted this wisdom at the... Uh, at a much earlier occasion. Is this conversation lessons or essay writing? Bit, bit of both. Teaching her to speak like a mature young lady. <laughs> I don't know any of those. Okay, we're gonna quickly go to the central shopping district and we're gonna accept the origami job, which I should have done a long time ago, just I'm very bad. So we're going to the north. And there's the job board. The origami crane folder. Okay. Man, high paying. Take this job, yeah. I know, it's a volunteer job. <laughs> Yay. Alright, well, that should do that for now. We are gonna go hang out with the Sun Arcana today. Do I have a Sun Persona? I'm not entirely sure. Fool, lovers, empress, moon, so oh, hello, Jidon, thank you. What the amount of money I have there. Bad 
back to Yasugami High to play with the symphonic band. Really feeling that. Play some music. Play some. Blow that trumpet real well. Them tunes. Listen to my favorite tunes with Michael Bay. I don't know why I said that. Senpai. Since you have Jidon, you may as well hang out with the symphonic band. <laughs> You're pretty passionate about music. Oh, I'm passionate about you, darling. Whoa! No, you're actually pretty ugly. Um, just telling Bay what she wants to hear. You attended the rehearsal, you played your trumpet with passion. Look at that nerd conducting. San Miguel River, after practice, she took you here. This is where I usually practice. <laughs> Sorry for dragging you on such short notice, but I thought it'd be easy for me to tell you something here. I think I need to start being more selfish. Okay. As long as I can remember, I've never expressed my opinions. Okay, that's cool. But sometimes arguing about something and talking through it is what makes relationships stronger. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Or a better haircut. Way out. Ha, sentimentality. Who needs it? It's just me at 3 a.m. <laughs> I've been keeping a lot of unpleasant emotions buried inside me. In fact, the real me can be pretty selfish. I wanted people to notice me, but I never made the first move. Selfish, right? That was just dumb. That's why when I think about the other day and how I threw everything. Uh, I, you did for me, I feel guilty. But you've helped me a lot, don't blush at me. Stop, I don't like it. <laughs> so, from now on... Walk away, tell the teacher. Okay, that's cool. Rank up. Please don't make me ask you out, I don't want to ask you out. I'd rather not. Um, that being said, this- oh god. <sighs> Senpai, I, uh... You have a hunch what she wants to say, however you're I am a robot. The guide's- okay. I'm just gonna quickly make a very quick reflection. This guide is making me go with her, and it would take longer to finish her social link if I wasn't with her, however, personally, I am not at all into her. Yeah, let's just, uh... She's speechless. Yes, feel that way, girl. Well, I have... Now I have three girlfriends. I told you, I told you I would have three girlfriends. <laughs> no, uh, no lies were said. I don't like being intimate with a three-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome back. Thanks, Nanako. What we're gonna do tonight? Let's make origami. Exciting. I'm very excited. Not, not distractions. Hello, this is a resay. Why don't we go to Teddy's? All right. Did she said, oh, oh, she meant the TV, well. Right, because Teddy was born that. Right, okay. Work. On origami cranes. Get more understanding of the world around us. You know how to fold some paper. It's colorful paper now. He's going all out. He's going ham. Rely on muscle memory, or do I take a deep breath and recall? Oof. Just go with the flow, bro. Be yeah. yourself a chill dude. Dang, I actually picked the right one. Nice. It was always the right one. More like you're always the right one. <laughs> Senpai, about practice, I have any time, please come. I don't want to hang with you. 
Okay, well, let's just let's just hang with her anyway, despite my wishes. Because, you know, my feelings don't matter. Alright. Let us hang with her, because why not? By the end of the game, we are going to have six girlfriends, so we'll be the ultimate player. But I ain't saying she a gold digger. She, she ain't messing with no broke. Broke. Alright, we blew our trumpet with passion. She's playing well. Wow, that's a shock. I get a little flustered when it's just you and me. I guess it's kind of hard to believe. There was really such a. Oh god. You shouldn't be. Leave. Um, I'll try getting that cleaning done fast afterwards. You better get it. There's no dick responses. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just use her. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not actually that shallow, I just really don't like her character. <laughs> but, um. It's okay with me. Damn right. You said you love me, you should be able to go to my room. I mean, come on. Let's go. Hmm. My uncle obviously doesn't give two shits about who I'm with. She's silent. Um, um, well... Get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought your room kinda smells <laughs> You don't say I sleep here. Maybe you try a uh, few rows off from uh, Mad Max. Goodbye. That might work. Better than a bowl cut. Anything's better than a bowl cut. <laughs> Alright. I mean, that's debatable. Have you seen a mullet? Oh, I, I see many mullets, I'm just not a fan. So, do we have anything to do? Or... Become well, a maybe... barber. I'm gonna have to make some origami. <laughs> Unless... Yeah, don't worry. I, I thought I might have had to hang with the JMO, but I was wrong. Very precise. Cheer yourself up. Just be happy. Be happy, happy. Quote Happy Gilmore. Morning, Senpai. Yo. So are you ready for the trip yet? This guy won't shut up about it. Yosuke Senpai hasn't even started packing. He's all like, was that tomorrow? What's up with that? You are way too excited about this. I mean, you're even worried about how many boxes of animal crackers to bring. That sounds so The obvious like answer is just how many you can dude. fit in the bag. Besides, I'm pretty sure they Plus have more. convenience stores in Port Island. <laughs> Plus another bag. Are you serious? I've never really left this place, so... Huh. I wonder if the murders here got as much play over there, too. Like that Mitsuo Kubo dude. They're still showing him on TV here. Every time I switch on the tube, the news is showing, like, what he wrote in his yearbook. This is me off, man. The freaking media slapping together anything they can find to make the dude look like a born criminal. People think they can say anything they want about a guy who's been branded a criminal. It's just not right. I mean, I still hate the guy's guts, but I don't know. After getting involved with all this, I started to realize how off-base most rumors are. It's so messed up. Well, I gotta admit, the news can be pretty out there. Hey, it's Naoto. All the guys are here. Yo, how's it going? Good morning. Uh, oh, yeah. 
I I'm on duty today. <laughs> well, see you later. <sighs> He's the messed up one. I really want to finish the Strength Social Link, but I can't. It's really annoying me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I'll hang with you there. I did ask you. Almost happy. Almost, not quite. Yep. She yanked my arm all the way up here. Mm, well. Of course I did. Nice. You didn't say anything about cute, not even a beautiful woman or anything like that. That's all you got going for you. <laughs> but every guy wants to be with a pretty girl, right? It's the good looking girls who find love, isn't it? Not if they're a complete bitch. He get this. I'm tired of beating around the bush. Just, just go ask him if he's got a crush on anyone. Is that some salt I heard out of you? Nah. What, what are you waiting for, go? That wasn't salt, that was just observation. Of course. Yo. That's what someone who's salty would say. You asked Asuka if he had a crush on anyone. What's going into you? Nah, there isn't anyone. He asked if he has an interest in I. Like our manager? Nah, not interested. Plan 20 questions? Ha, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Seems I was eavesdropping. You little skank. <laughs> a kid. And the chase is on. Oh, that got more intense. Yeah. Yep. You don't say. Guys like pretty girls, don't they? I'm pretty now, and I worked hard to be this way, but if I can't be loved, then what's the point? I used to be fat and clumsy. My family was poor and everyone at school bullied me all the time. They used to surround me and say I was gross. They called me names like Piggy Hara. The boy I had a crush on even told me not to look at him because I'd give him germs. I'm not the girl, germs. Cooties. Those awful memories still haunt me in my nightmares. About the time I entered middle school, my family came into the money. Everyone got jealous of us and we uh, that we ran away and moved here. I knew this was my chance to start over, it was my time to show them all. I dieted, got into shape, and read every fashion or woman's magazine I could get my hands on. I studied them like they were textbooks and learned all their secrets, everything from attracting guys to smiling better. But, <laughs> Looks like it was all for nothing. I can't be loved unless I become pretty, and now that I am, I still can't have it. I guess I'm doomed. I will never be loved. It's not like I have any other redeeming qualities. You're so nice to me. Should have fallen in love with you. Yeah, damn right you should have. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? Okay, fine. 
Why didn't you and I go out? Apparently I have to do this. I don't want to though. I'm sorry. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. Maybe I only have a five-way plan. Yeah, right. Thank you. Anytime. You're welcome for rejecting you. Always aiming to please. <laughs> okay. Well, let's. Is there anything in the fridge? Man, that was a giant watermelon. Yeah, it wouldn't make a difference anyway, so. It tasted better than the last time. Wow, interesting. I think it said it, t it tasted better last time. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> no return to our room, because we've got the trip tomorrow. Can't do anything for three days. Yay. Okay, school trip, blah, blah, blah. Stuff to do. Gakukon High, in front of the entrance. Wow, what's up with this place? This school's way too big. Wait, if we can't beat them on size, we're totally sunk. Well, <clears throat> next I will explain about our fine educational institution and the reasons for its establishment. I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Oh, is this principal in love with his own voice or what? Chie, he'll hear you. <clears throat> Our school is closed today, but uh, because of this rare opportunity for cultural exchange, some of our students will walk you through these halls. First, though, a student body representative will say a few words. Thank you, Principal. Welcome to Gecko Khan High School. Is this Chihori? My name is Chihiro Fushimi. I'm a third year student and the student council president here at Gecko Khan. Makes sense because she was a um, first grade student in P3, which is set two years before this. It's an honor to meet you all today. Holy crap, that girl's unbelievable. Yeah, you're right. She is cute. I gotta say, she's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. You guys, stop overreacting. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural exchange. To learn about others is to learn about oneself and is the first step on the road to self-betterment. This I believe. To ensure a worthwhile experience for each and every one of you, we will do our best to help you accomplish that. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. She beat me in every category. <laughs> All right. Everyone get into groups with your classmates. Oh, no. Excuse me, could I bother you for a moment? No. Sure. This is today's schedule for everyone. Could you hand it out later, please? I forgot to do it myself. Mm, clumsy level, don't worry. Sorry to be so disorganized. And you all came so far. No, I'm still struggling. Even with everyone's support, I'm barely pulling through. I used to get nervous very easily, and I once had a phobia of men, too. Do it! Just do it! In fact, I didn't write the speech on my own. One of the former student council presidents helped me. 
She was the president my first year here, and she was amazing. I always looked up to her. That was Mitsuru. I should call her later and tell her the speech was a success. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen to me going on and on about myself. I have to stop babbling when I get nervous. Um, your group is scheduled for a special lecture soon. The classroom is on the second floor. I have some arrangements to make with your student council, so please excuse me. Did I just hear her say special lecture? We came all this way to be lectured? Yes, but this is actually quite interesting what we get lectured on. Let's see, our class is... It's being taught by someone named Mr. Adagawa. The lecture is about... Kabbalah. Kabbalah what? You don't know? It's a casino. So, when's our free period? We don't get one. We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow, we'll be staying at a hotel. We'll have free time tomorrow and the day after until we leave at noon. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, guys. Let's focus on our studies for now so we can enjoy our free time later. I really love that they brought the P3 theme back. It's nice. I'm gonna read this. Welcome, nice to meet you all. Uh, meeting is only the beginning of parting the Alpha and the Omega. My name is Edogawa, Jesus. And nice. I'll be keeping you company for this period. You're all from Yasugami High, eh? Ah, high School of Many Gods. I considered a lecture on Kabbalah philosophy, but I have a better idea. Since I was able to meet you all today, I shall tell you a story on partings. This is one of Japan's oldest tales of curses. You know the gods that created the country, I assume. The two gods that gave birth to this country was are the god Izanagi and the goddess Izanami. They got along very well, but one day, Izanami died when giving birth to Kagosuchi, the fire god. Extremely saddened by this, Izanagi left for the land of the dead to bring back Izanami. Yomi, the dark, dark underworld. There, Izanagi asked Izanami, who had become a dweller on the land of shadows, to come back with him to the land above. The goddess replied by saying she wouldn't negotiate with the god of the underworld, who asked Izanagi to wait for her. However, Izanagi he became curious to know what was going on, and he broke his promise and set his coma light to look around. What he saw was the goddess Izanami. His body was completely covered in filth and maggots. Terrified, Izanagi ran away, but the enraged Izanami chased after him. After dodging the many demons sent after him, Izanagi breached the entrance of the underworld. Yumotoro Hishas Hirasaka he set in place a large boulder and was as a barrier between the two worlds and got away unharmed. When the dreadful goddess reached the boulder, he said farewell to her. This curse was known as Kotodo. Curses beget curses, and Izanami said to the god, If you are going to treat me this way, I would kill a thousand humans in your world each day. Izanagi regretfully accepted this that the bonds between them were severed, saying, I shall give life to 1,500 every day. Thousands will die, 10,000 will be That is the curse upon this country. Many of you have learned this famous story. Now the word. Can you, can you say that? Etymology? The names Izanagi and Izanami come from the word Izano, which means to invite. I'd be delighted to have accepted the story today as an invitation to acquiring knowledge. That reminds me of the olden days, but oh god, he's gonna ramble now, don't worry about it. It was a nice story. Basically, um... Yeah, that's, it's, it's interesting that our first persona was Izanagi, but we've never heard of Izanami.
later that night in front of our hotel. This is amazing. Alrighty, here we are. The Seaside Clamshell Inn. We'll be staying here tonight. Is this really a regular hotel? A wave of agitation seems to be spreading through the group. So, what do you think? It was me who found this place. It just opened not too long ago. It's got that modern look. And the price was right. Personally, I think it was an excellent choice. AKA, it was as cheap as you can get. We're staying here? I mean, the sign says hotel, but... It opened recently? Dude, this totally looks like a lump. You there, don't just stand there. Keep marching in. Isn't there something funny about this place? Is there? We don't have these modern hotels in Inaba, so I, I can't tell. Um, this area is called Shirakawa Boulevard, and it's... That's all right, Rise. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Faster than I expected. This is quite the hotel. If they were to meet me, I wonder, what would the look on Yosuke's face be? Oh, oh, who's that? Look, up there! <gasps> it can't be. Yeah! <laughs> Shooby dooby. Teddy, what are you doing here? The lonely bear inside of me went stir crazy. <sighs> if only I could detect people in the real world. Well, how did you come here? Do you have some special ability? Nah, I took the train. I swore off topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Juness. I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it. I already know. How in the world did you make it here looking like that? I mean, why wear the bear suit here? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times. But I kept hanging on to the promise Chie-chan made to go on a date with me. That's what gave me strength to carry on. Uh, good job, Teddy. Did I promise that? Oh, yeah, I do remember saying that I'd go out with you someday. I... Whee! You remember, Chie-chan? Is it okay with Yuki-chan and Rise-chan, too? Let's all go together, then. Is that all right with you? Mm. It's a deal. I've been here before, so I'll show you around tomorrow. I guess we can go shopping first. And I know a great place we can hit later on. Ooh, shopping. That sounds great. <laughs> the other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just going to go wherever the school recommends. Well, I guess a shopping spree beats a factory tour. All right, we're in two. <laughs> Leave it to me. Now, before the fun starts, we got to deal with this guy. Can't you sleep outside for the night? That suit should keep you nice and cozy. Cruelty to animals! You don't know how much trouble I went through to get here! I took the slow train all this way! Do you hear? The slow train! Now, now, you kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are you? Crap! What's the matter? What's this giant teddy bear? Mmm, I see you like cute things. All right, now hurry on inside with it. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. 
But uh, don't flip the wrong switch when you're turning on the lights, or your bed will start spinning. Anyways, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm exhausted. For so many reasons. Any if any, you have to do something about Teddy. Teddy's doing his best to act like a stuffed animal. Coming this far may be Teddy's way of showing how much he genuinely likes you all. Alright, just rank up already. Oh my god! Never noticed it. Okay. I played P4 before I played P3. Whoa. So this is this the is P3 theme in the background. Woo! I'm totally ready for this! There's nothing. Is it permitted for high school students such as yourselves to be here? What? Dude, look who's talking. You were here before we were. That's right. I guess if the first years came on the trip, you'd be here too. The clientele here seems above board, so I don't expect there'll be any problems. Huh? You're leaving? Why don't you join us? Are you... asking me to stay? Uh-huh. We didn't get to chat last time. Uh, it's just that I had some matters to attend to that day. Well, you're free now, right? I was really eager to talk to you. I'm curious... Don't make me get feels. How about it? Mm, very well, if you insist. Huh? What's up? You look a little red. That's not true. Wait here. I'll go reserve the area upstairs for us. Okay. Wait, what? Reserve? Yep. Don't worry. I think I can pull some strings. Uh. What's wrong, man? Stomach pains? Mm, that ain't it. Being very subtle there. Yeah, very. <laughs> Reset reserve the second floor and you'll made a toast. Are you sure this is alright? Isn't it expensive? No worries. Two years ago when I had a secret show here, the power went out in the middle of it and the gig was cancelled. <laughs> oh my god. That was the they still owe me from then, so they're willing owl. to put this one on the house. Well, in that case, I'm gonna order more. This get like so many subtle references Woo! to um P3. I'm not gonna hold back either. Love games like that, dude. You sound even weirder today. Is that possible? Oh, you are so cool, Kanji. Mm. Kanji, Kanji, Kanji. I conjecture that something's up! <laughs> That's a great one! Man, you're already in high gear. <laughs> conjecture? <laughs> uh, she's looser than usual, too. Oh! Hey, wait a sec. Are these liquor? Soft drinks. They're non alcoholic. Mm. Oh, whoops. I told them. Really, I did. Really. Oh, sheesh. I was wondering why it's so hot. Is this seriously booze? But the smells.
games like this. Adults play the king's game. It's the law. <laughs> What's their problem? They make me act like a dit, call me resent and stuff, and then say I'm a kid? It's so obvious. Those rap parties get a lot funner after I go home. Morons! I'm gonna play the king's game now, and ain't no one gonna stop me. Yet another side of Risa exposed. I wonder if she knows what she's saying. Kanji! Get the chopsticks ready. What? Why me? The king's word is law! Chop, chop! I it's already started? Um, what's this king's game again? Okay. One chopstick makes you the king if you draw it, and the others have numbers on them. The king picks the number and says what that person has to do. But who has which number is a secret until the king gives the orders. Senpai, you're such an adult. You tell him. E Yukiko, where'd you learn this stuff? Nowhere. Come on, everyone draw! Drew a stick, it says number one. Okay, so... Who's the king? Teddy's is red! Red! Is Teddy the king? <laughs> Here we go. We're already doomed from the get-go. Hi, the king! Command me to smooch the king without delay. Smooch! Smooch? Please, God. Grant me a girl. Number one! I'm at number two! No take backs! Smooch! Smooch! A bear's chastity. True love needs a sacrifice. Just for you, Sensei. Teddy. Hey, not me! <laughs> oh -hoo! Only the first round and two contestants have dropped out already. <laughs> huh. Is, is it that kind of game? On to round two! You must be very careful here. There's a red mark on it. You're the next king. Uh -huh. Who's the king? Phew, someone decent. No crazy orders this time. That's not how it goes. If the last king demanded a smooch, then the next order's gotta be more extreme. T.A., don't be such a party pooper. <laughs> hey! The person who gets picked should have to rest their head on the king's lap. <laughs> nah, make him sit on his lap. Oh, or they could have to hug him. Better than that, a piggyback ride. Come on, king. Who's gonna do what? Man, you don't know how much I want to trade places with you right now. <laughs> Senpai's lap is so warm. It feels so nice. <laughs> me next! Me! I'm the king! Actually, the queen. You didn't even draw a chopstick. All right, then. Let's have someone talk about something really embarrassing that they'd never want to tell anyone. Hmm, let's see. Oh, Naoto-kun, 
I choose you! She's breaking all the rules. Just ignore her, Naoto. No. No, that won't be necessary. One stipulation, though. If I do this, the rest of you must reveal something as well. Okay! No particularly embarrassing experiences come to mind. Would discussing my life be fair game? It's the rare situation like this that gives me call to speak of such things. Damn, way to kill the mood. The Shiragane family has been detectives for generations now. We lend our powers to the police from time to time. For generations? Wow, it's like that guy from a movie I watched before. Um, who's his name? Kuzunoha? In days gone by when there were no crime scene investigators, consulting detectives were considered more valuable. Thus my grandfather still has a strong connection with the police, and looks after me, despite my youth and inexperience. But investigators nowadays are well versed in science and medicine, so I must further my studies. That sounds tough. Uh... That's it? No punchline? <sighs> I fear you may be looking to the wrong person for that. That's so embarrassing! Isn't Hotokun embarrassing? I wanna go home. Oof, I'm sleepy. Well then, it's your turn now. Straight answer, please. What is your true involvement with the murder case? You know, you're so good at killing the mood that it's almost funny. Well, we go rescuing people who've been kidnapped by jumping into the TV. And then we do stuff like Persona with our personas and beat the crap out of shadows. You idiot! <sighs> Are you making fun of me? It's true! Persona! Sheesh! Somebody put these two drunks to bed already! I see now that you had no intention of telling me the truth. But I'm curious, how did you become so inebriated? This isn't alcohol. Good one, Nota. No. I confirmed it when I first entered. No alcohol has been served here since a rash of drunk driving last year. Huh? Does that mean we're all just drunk off the atmosphere? Who cares? <laughs> I feel so good. Good night! Hey, senpai! How the hell are we gonna get back with two passed out drunks? Oh, this is giving me a big headache. Is this what a hangover feels like? Teddy's still totally okay. Hey, let's keep drinking till morning. <sighs> Bring it on. As I said, you haven't been drinking alcohol. Are you a pack of imbeciles? Third day of school trip, shopping district. We just have to buy something for Nanako now. Mm. This place serves the best ramen in town. When we were filming, a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches. Hmm? You're not hungry? Um... <laughs> what happened last night? I don't remember much about it. Oh, I think the two of us fell asleep quick. I heard it got pretty wild, though. I see. I don't remember at all. <laughs> ah, this flavor never changes. I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. 
Hmm, this is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. See? See? Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. Um, I'll have the hug a curry bowl. The hug a curry bowl's a normal menu item now? Oh, I should have asked. Oh well, this is just as good. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Sure, no problem. See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Huh? Where's my bowl? You didn't eat it, did you? Y you didn't finish, so... <laughs> I was going to finish it! Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? I don't know how to count. You little liar, give me that check. Let's see here. Two, ten bowls? Yuki-chan's makes it eleven. I was going to finish mine. There, there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh, already? I thought the trip was going to be a bore, but now that it's over, I actually had a good time. Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I, I bet Nanako-chan will be expecting one. All right, let's get going. Yo. Hey, Ted. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little... D dude Hey, he ain't moving! Is he hibernating? Hey! Uh, don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Are you serious? Teddy! <clears throat> My tummy's heavy. Leave it behind. I ate too much? I can't move. Someone carry me. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Uh, Yukiko, wait for me. Hey, I really can't move. And I don't have the money for a return ticket. Farewell, Teddy. We shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? Look! My big bro got me a souvenir! 
Hey, nice. Did you remember to thank him? Of course. Huh. I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. You talk to him much? He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. Adults can be a selfish bunch. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. Nanako, can you get the bath ready? Alright, you know what day it is. <laughs> Well, what day is it again, Matt? Uh, it is September 11th. So, um... We've prepared a short list of jokes. They're really appropriate, I assure you. Why did the chicken cross the road? To escape 9-11. 9 out of 11 meme, too much blame, IGN. What date did the Twin Towers find out about their snake allergy? Snakes on a plane? 9-11. What's United Airlines' proudest achievement? 9-11. United they fly, United they fall. Did you hear about America's attempt at large-scale two-pin bowling? They couldn't get a strike, but they managed to spare. What's the best way to end an episode? 9-11.